All right, we've got the comic out of the humidity chamber. I've just got it on a piece of paper on my cutting board. I have a piece of SRP. And I have my sealing iron. <clears throat> this is set on about a two. What I'm gonna do is just press down and heat We're gonna flatten the book out so that we can remake this crease where it ought to be. And I'm trying to hold these two covers on this double cover square while I do that. They are a little bit loose at the staples. So I'm gonna try to keep them square while I do this. I'm gonna avoid the staple, but I'll go right up next to it. The spine roll is not square on the book it's actually like at an angle so up here the spine is actually correct down here it's over here so i'm going to stay this side of the staple as i'm flattening flattening it And I can do this a little bit hotter. I could do this on 2, 2.2, 2.5 even. Um, but this is usually enough heat. And it might take a little bit longer, but I'd rather take my time. One thing you don't want to do when you're working on these books is be in a hurry. So let's see how flat this is. Pretty good. Could be flatter here. I think I will flip this over. And we'll do a little bit from the side. Notice the center fold is pulled at the top staple. There isn't much that I can do about that without either taping it or doing a seal or something more sophisticated. <clears throat> at the moment, I'm not gonna worry about it. We just need the page to be in the right place. It is still attached at the bottom. I don't think one detached staple is gonna affect the grade of this book that much if we did decide to submit it to CGC. You can have a detached staple and still get a five or a six. I don't think, I think that's sort of the best we're gonna hope for with the inner cover on this book anyway. So, We are likely to not do anything with that. I have already looked at it to see if there's a flap of paper that I could slip underneath the staple to reattach, and there really isn't. There's clean tear outs. All right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a I have a magazine backer board here. I'm gonna make a centerfold uh, <clears throat> like buffer. So what I'm doing is I'm just making little marks with pencil here around these staples. And I'm gonna cut little windows for those staples in this backer board. Now I have a pair of surgical scissors that are just slightly bent. They're curved scissors and I like these because I can make a really shallow cut 
for staples like these that aren't very intrusive. That allows the backer board to get, make sure that you recycle these because uh, if they fall in here, obviously when you press the book, you're gonna have a nasty divot. And I'll make sure these edges are nice and smooth and that they are, don't have any bends. I'll burnish them a little bit with my fingers. Okay, now we can use this to create the centerfold that we want. So we can still see the crease here, the original centerfold. We can see that the spine roll was out here. You don't want to put the backer board directly on that because you want to leave it room to fold. So I'm over about the width of the backer board from that line. And we're going to see how that folds. I think that's going to fold really well. You notice here that double cover, just a tiny amount showing all the way down consistently top to bottom. Edge here is good, edge there is good. So I think staples are right on the edge. I think this is a pretty good fold for us. And I'm gonna start to heat it up in this position. And we really need to get the back of the book. That's where the spine roll was bad. So <clears throat> I'm going to keep this book pinched so that we keep the same fold. And I'm just going to flip it over. Confirm that the back cover is lined up just as well as the front was, which it is. And this is that area where the spine roll was really bad. This is the area where we need heat the most so we will get our iron on that now I'm not wearing gloves some comic books you should wear gloves for some you really don't need to as long as your hands are clean and dry. So I wash my hands before working on any book. New books, books with glossy covers, I will wear gloves. Basically anything kind of like post 2000 publication date, I wear gloves because they are real fingerprint magnets. Bronze Age books, um, if your hands are dirty, you certainly can leave fingerprints. If they're oily, dirty, if the book is wet, you can. Um, <clears throat> but with a dry book with clean hands, you really don't need to. And I prefer to work without them so that I can get more feel. All right. So I think now... We will have a book that will sit by itself with a pretty reasonable spine. So we have effectively corrected the spine roll, or nearly so. So I'm going to go ahead and press this book now. And I've already got a backer board in the centerfold, which sort of buffers the center. <clears throat> I'm going to just use a single, paste, um, single piece of copy paper. Between, 
the first cover and the first wrap of the book. So, right here, I use a single piece of copy paper. I'm not going to push it in too dramatically. Just going to let it go just by the force of the edge of the paper right up to the staple. And then I'm going to use this is a piece of 65 pound cover stock. I'm going to use this between the two covers. Again, I'm going to gently just push it up against the staples. I don't want this creating any undue pressure. <clears throat> I'll flip the book. And I'm going to stack it from the same way on this side. So we're going to go single piece of copy paper between the second cover and the first wrap. Gently in there. And 65 pound cardstock. This one I'm going to pull the cover over just a little bit because I think we still need to put a little more heat into our sandwich here with some tension on the paper just to make sure that we've completely corrected this spine roll. So I'm shifting the paper this way with my hand. I'm going to pull it a little bit and keep that pressure on it with that pressure. So hold my parchment paper or silicone release paper. And I'm going to put a little more heat into this with that tension pulling the paper that way. Just to give us a good correction on the spine roll. This book's going to be ready for the press. Um, I'm going to have two magazine backer boards plus parchment paper above and below this sandwich. And I'm going to press for 15 minutes at about 75 centigrade. I'll let you guys do your metric conversion to imperial units on that. And then um, <clears throat> after the press cools, we'll take it out, we'll put it into a cold press where it'll stay at least 24 hours and then we'll kind of reevaluate from there. All right. So I'll pick up the video from there.